Let me ask you something. Have you ever been browsing the website of a world famous hot rod shop and noticed that all of their cars that they're building are sitting on two before wheel stands? I've noticed that and it's always struck me as a little bit odd and I've kind of always in the back of my mind wondered why and I recently found out I was having a discussion with a friend of mine named Dave in Mississippi who's been building hot rods professionally for 40 years. Dave really knows what he's doing and we were talking about welding on the body of my 67 Nova all together. You know we're going to do the the cowl right there, the quarters, the roof, everything. It's all got to weld together and it's got to fit together properly. And he said to me, he said, Ian, don't weld all of these body parts onto the car while it is on your rotisserie, which is exactly what I plan to do. And he said, I like to build my cars sitting on the ground because he said that car will actually bow and will deflect and change a little bit sitting on its tires and wheels. And I said, well, you know, Dave, this is a tube chassis car. Uh, I think this thing's really rigid and I don't really think that that's going to happen with mine, but I'm going to humor you anyway. So the reason that I have built those two before wheel stands for my car, I want to show you something. I've got a caliper here, okay? Let's take this, and let's come up to this gap right here, this, this, this door gap, and I'm going to put it right there, and then I'm going to expand it, expand it out as far as it will go. There we go. It is in the gap, and there we are. All right, I'm now going to lock it in place. Let's make sure it's still... Yep, it's a nice, nice firm fit, right? Watch this. You come over here to my car lift. Let's raise it up off of those wheel stands. Okay, she's off the wheel stands. Now watch, watch, watch what's happened here. We've got our caliper. We put it in the same spot. Look at that. Probably a sixteenth of an inch of extra space. So Dave said, if you build your car sitting on jack stands or maybe on the rotisserie, you weld all the body panels together and then you finally set it down on the wheels, all of your gaps are going to change and nothing is going to line up worth a damn. So big thanks to Dave for that epiphany and hopefully that explains to everybody why we're building these cars on wheel stands like this. Sure, you could set it right down on the concrete and build it on the ground just the same, but this is a cheap way of raising the car up a foot, two foot, however tall you want to make them, and uh, you know gets the car up to a comfortable working height while it's still on its tires. So I'm going to be uh, putting the body on this car on these wheel stands. Hope uh, somebody out there has the same epiphany that I just had because uh, that's a pretty big one. Follow along, subscribe if you guys want to. Have a good day.